I invite you to make a pact with me on this election day 2020. No matter what happens, we're going to stay calm, we're going to stay cool, and we're going to encourage others to do the same. Odds are there's going to be a bit of anger out there when the other guy wins. But one thing I've learned through years of being in the communication industry, when we move forth and communicate with any type of anger or stress, it always backfires on us. It is not the way to become more influential. It's the basic communication law of cause and effect. What you put out there is what you get back. So three things as we move forward. Number one, silence is not an option. And of course, our vote is our voice, but there has to be so much more. So number two, determine what you can control and what you can't control. The fact that there are only these two men to choose from in the voting booth today is out of our control. It's already happened, it's in our past. So what can we control moving forward? That brings me to number three. I highly encourage you to become more aware, to become more conscious of what's happening in your community, in your state, and who your politicians are. And then take time to determine what matters to you. What do you want? What do you need? What do you stand for? And what won't you stand for? And then learn how to articulate it. Yes, speak with your politicians. I know politicians, so many of them have a bad rap, but there are also some amazing ones out there. Amazing politicians who will listen, who will ask the right questions, and who will act on your behalf if you tell them what you want and what you need. But they won't and they can't if you don't communicate. So may this be a time of healthy evolution and more effective communication for all of our people and throughout our country. Thank you.